Tonight, a book about a unicorn is causing quite the controversy in the Buckeye Valley Local School District. An emergency school board meeting was held tonight after the author of the book says he was told not to read it when he visited the district. 10 TV's Olivia Eugenio was at that meeting and asked the district's interim superintendent about exactly what happened. There was just a handful of parents who spoke at Friday night's board meeting, all of them speaking in favor of the unicorn book. No one spoke out against it. So why couldn't we read a book with a rainbow on it? Kaylin Brazelton is a mother of two and works at Buckeye Valley West. She spoke at Friday night's meeting. She says she doesn't understand why it's okay to be a unicorn. A book about acceptance for children who feel different wouldn't be allowed. I had walked up and was told we have to take the artwork down. She also doesn't understand why she says her co-workers were instructed to take down kids artwork relating to the book. I was simply confused and people were taking stuff down and I they said we have to take anything down with unicorns and rainbows. So we asked the district's interim superintendent what happened. He says a parent came to him concerned Wednesday morning. The author was visiting on Thursday. They just want to make sure we vetted the, the book and our um, staff thought they had vetted it. The author of the book, Jason Tharp, says he was asked not to read the unicorn book by the building principal over the phone. The author says he was then sent this email, which he shared with 10 TV, asking him not to read from another book. We were the first to bring this email to the interim superintendent's attention. I got that email right before um, our board meeting, so I, I got to talk to him next week. We also asked the interim superintendent about the kids artwork. He says as far as he's aware of, all art was displayed. Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. The school board held its special meeting tonight to hold a first reading of its anti-discrimination policy. The board's next meeting is scheduled for April 20th.